the pressure and the demands of the job is simply too much for many women, particularly, say, in the military. All right, uh, women file far more demands for compensation. They're far more likely to get hurt. And so it used to be in a traditional society that you would try to save women and protect them from many of the grosser parts of life. But now in our more egalitarian age, women weren't in on many of the the, the grosser, more competitive, more vicious parts of life, and then they are shocked and appalled and become suicidal at things that men put up with and accept as simply the price for being in a highly in-demand job where there's a lot of competition to hold a job, right? Who would not rather work in TV news than in a regular job? Brought by staff for discrimination in the Sydney News Division alone. This is an industry that me too forgot. I wouldn't just call it the second chance club, I'd call it the third, fourth and fifth chance club. We've spoken to more than 200 people for this Four Corners investigation. The stories many tell are... Con so no one's putting a gun to these women's heads and forcing them to work in TV news. All right, they chose to work in this industry, right? And there's a ton of competition for their jobs. These jobs are difficult and demanding, and yet they stay there, and then they file complaints and file lawsuits. And then they might wonder why men don't want to hire women who are far more predisposed to file a lawsuit than just a regular bloke, or just either put up with it or leave on his own and not make a federal case of it. Concerning. People describe being harassed, assaulted, viciously bullied at... And uh, this reporter is lucky. No one's going to sexually harass her. And uh, is that what women want, to become invisible? Right. Not many women over age 25 get sexually harassed. Seven West Media. Some have ended up in hospital, unable to work. Then they're obviously not fit for that competitive, difficult environment. All right. This is, this is in part rage at reality. Some became suicidal. The dominant emotion I've encountered... OK, so if a woman in a tough, demanding newsroom becomes suicidal, is that the fault of her boss or is that her fault? Right. Is she, does she bear any responsibility for insisting on remaining at a place that's really bad for her? I have no doubt that many competitive jobs are bad for many men and many women. Right? There are many uh, difficult situations. There are many challenging bosses that are not for you.